In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his last and beloved Messiah Muhammad, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. The title of this presentation is Discoveries and Inventions from the Quran. And the Quran is the last revelation of Allah God to people. So in this presentation I will show matters that the Quran spoke about and that modern science failed to reach. So discoveries and inventions from the guidance of Allah God Almighty in the Quran, the words of Allah God Almighty. Now I chose various topics such that, that to spark the interest of people. So the first topic in, 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 is in cosmology and talking about black holes. Now in cosmology there is a great uh, research into black holes and there is something that cosmology failed to reach or failed to understand. What is the function of black holes? Now we know that we know that they exist. What is their function? Here we have a picture of a black hole, just a kind of model or a, a diagram for a black hole. Now, what is the function of these objects in space? As I said, cosmology cannot give us the answer. In the Quran, if we ponder upon two verses in the Quran, Allah teaches us the function of black holes. And these verses are in chapter 81 of the Quran, verses 15 and 16. This is the translation of the verses. So verily, I swear by what hides, moving and sweeping. These are two verses in the Quran. So if you ponder upon them, here Allah is telling us that there are objects that hide, meaning that you cannot see them with your eyes. Moving, that they roam or move in space, and sweeping. So here Allah is, is teaching us the characteristics for black holes. Now the first one, where well, Allah says that what hides, meaning that black holes, they cannot be seen. And the scientific explanation for this is that the black hole, they have such a, a strong gravitational field that even light can escape. So they cannot produce light, meaning that your eyes cannot see them. So that's the first characteristic mentioned in the Quran, what hides, that they hide, they cannot be seen. Moving, that they roam space, and that is again proven, and sweeping. This is the function of black holes as stated in the last revelation of Allah God people in the Quran, that they sweep space. And it's very straightforward. Sweep space meaning that they clean up space using sweeping. Let's understand this more. Also we can understand this from the Quran. In another verse in the Quran, Allah says that everything in space is moving in a certain orbit, a certain path. So let's for example say that a star exploded and we have a debris you can see here from the star debris now if this this debris stays in space it can collide with other objects that they are going in their orbit so the black holes from this immense gravitational field they have a suction they, they suck these kind of uh, debris and they clean space sweeping like the electric vacuum cleaner it sweeps using vacuum like a suction pressure so here the black holes they have a huge gravitational field that they can suck objects that are roaming in space without a certain path so anything that goes out of its path out of his, the um, orbit that Allah assigned to, to that object it will be sucked by these black holes and meaning they clean space by the like sweeping as mentioned in the Quran moving and sweeping they clean space by the, this is their function and again cosmology failed to get the answer for this so you see how the Quran teaches the Muslim knowledge such that Muslims will be the teacher of others. We only need to ponder and apply the Quran.
To know more details about this topic, please visit my website at www.quran-miracle.com. This is my website. And you can email me at zaidquran at yahoo.com and at gmail.com. And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all.